This insert is brought to you with the compliments of Radio Cape Pulpit. Good morning, Jessica. Welcome to Radio Cape Pulpit's breakfast show. Good morning, everybody. It's such a blessing being with you this morning. So when you're listening to your own voice, what are you thinking? <laughs> it's just amazing to, to hear how the, the whole mission has come to life and to hear it on the radio. Yeah, and I think, Jessica, when you, when you, when you think about the journey, it started somewhere with a dream uh, of wanting to not only write and sing music, but to create an mm-hmm. album to bless people. Uh, tell us mm-hmm. the story of, of this beautiful um, uh, Into Your Heart album. There's a song, the title track, we'll play it a little bit later, but where did this dream start? So... Um I recorded a, a secular album when I was 18, when I just came out of Idol. Mm. I was 18 years old. And um, I got married when I was 22 and had children. And after having my two kids, I really had a deep desire in my heart to do a Christian album. Mm. Um, it's always been in my heart. I, I grew up in a Christian home. And so we listened to a lot of um, worship music growing up. And it, it was just what I always wanted to do. And uh, the mission was to take Jesus' heart and his love and message of hope to the people through music. So people find purpose and meaning through worship. So we recorded this album with, with the intention mm-hmm. to help people. I love that. And just uh, for you listening right now, if you want to visit us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Carps Console. We're also Facebooking live. So you can see a pic of uh, Jessica as well. You can see my mug, which doesn't look anything as beautiful as Jessica's. Uh, we're all on <laughs> Facebook and uh, we'd love to hear your comments as well on the music. And we'll play another track of Jessica's uh, in a moment as well. So go and check us out. We're all live on Facebook. Uh, Jessica, the song we played now, I'll Never Leave You, beautiful. And I think a, a beautiful song for now as well when there's so much fear and, and uncertainty mm. not only in the world but here in, in South Africa as well and our desperate cry to God and, and at times wondering if he's even there the song really does speak into that scripture of I'll never mm. leave you or forsake you such truth is what we need sung over yeah. us so when we wrote the song um, as you know we recorded the album and wrote the songs in Nashville Tennessee mm. I wrote the song uh, it was myself my, my dad and my dear Lawrence and the a gentleman called Ghana. Yeah. His parents are missionaries from South Africa. He he was born in the States. Yeah. But his parents have been living there for years and he was born and he was so excited to write with us when he heard we were South African. <laughs> um, and, you know, we, we came with the the message and it, it was just so wonderful to write together because we were like all on the same page with the message of Jesus never leaving you or forsaking you no matter what the circumstance, whether you failed or you had sickness or loss or, you know, we're going through so much in our country Mm. and in the world that it's so refreshing to know that no matter what's going on around us or how we're feeling, Jesus will never, ever leave us. So we've just got to keep our faith and keep our eyes on Him and be focused. And that's that's where the whole song burst from, from that whole, His power is greater than Mm. anything. Early on in the program this morning, just had somebody speaking into the power of family and the importance of fathers. And to hear you yes. saying that you sat down and wrote the song and your dad was part of it. You spoke about uh, being married, about your kids. Family yes. clearly very, very important to you. And how amazing to be able yes. to bring a dad in to write something uh, as powerful as the song as well. Yeah, it's, it was just it's such a great experience because my father's actually supported the project. Oh, wow. Um, we we had it on our hearts for a long time, and we are completely independent. We're doing it all on our own. Mm. Um, yeah, and being Portuguese and my husband's Italian family is really really important. As you can <laughs> yes, imagine in a a mixed Latin family. <laughs> uh, speaking about Portuguese, uh, being Portuguese, also uh, your songs sung and recorded also in the Portuguese language. So yes. you you're um, opening yourself up to a whole new market as well. Yes, we've doubled the whole album into Portuguese, so all 10 tracks have been translated and recorded in Portuguese. So you're making that available to the Portuguese market? I mean, is your is your heart for the African Portuguese-speaking market and beyond? I mean, where did this start with you? Yes, it's, it's literally for every country that may be Portuguese. <laughs> so we were, we were thinking Angola, Mozambique, mm. uh, Cabo Verde, Brazil, Portugal. I'm actually visiting Portugal now in July. Oh, I'm beautiful. I'm singing at a, a conference. And uh, five other churches, so July, August is going to be a busy month for me. (laughs) 
How exciting. Jessica, so uh, heading off to Nashville, Tennessee, where we know Daniel Ornelas well. Heinz Winkler has just returned now as well from Nashville, working yes. on his new album yes. together with Daniel. I mean, Daniel really is the go-to guy uh, for people who are wondering back in the day when 363 used to be together. He was the bassist there. Yeah. Now he's a singer, <laughs> now he's a producer uh, out in, in Tennessee and he's been there for over a decade already, serving not only the American musicians, but many of the South African musicians going over. It's something nice, though, when you're in a foreign country, Jessica, to uh, have a bit of South Africa there uh, and makes you feel it's a little bit more comfy while you're doing something as scary and as intimidating as writing and recording an album. Yes. Um, Daniel also played a huge part in the, in helping you write. Yes, he, he wrote um, quite a few of our songs of us. He wrote Into Your Heart. Um, he wrote One Thing With Us. Hmm. Go Where You Want to Go. Uh, so we've got six originals on the album and then four covers. Tell us a bit so about we did, the covers. We've, we did Ever Be from Bethel, mm. um, Forever from Carrie Job. Uh, we did a translation from a, a, a Praise and Worship Brazilian song, wow. and I translated it to English. So it's called The Lord is Good. So that's quite a well-known song in Brazil that we translated it to English. And then there's the fourth one. That was your uh, your Lauren Daigle cover. The Lauren Daigle, How Can It Be? Yeah, there you go. So talk yes. about versatile is Jessica. Um, this song that we're going to play a little bit later on, the title track off your album, Into Your Heart. Um, we can try and read into it by just looking at the title, but uh, give us your, your uh, heart behind the song. So Into Your Heart, um, I had a dream. I actually woke up with goosebumps because I was like, I can't forget this. Sure. And I, I drew a picture... And I thought, okay, this means something because I wouldn't wake up with my hair standing on my arm like <laughs> yeah. crazy. And um, I, I sketched this picture out. And in the dream, I saw the, a huge tree and its roots were growing into mm. this heart. And I realized this is the heart of Jesus. It was pumping through all its energy and its love and power. And it was making this tree grow and flourish and blossom on the one side. Wow. And on the other side, it was... It was trying to pump through to that side, but the, the branches were withering and they were mm. dying. And when I was thinking of the dream and drawing the picture, it, it just came to me that we, we all connected as a body of Christ. Some of us accept Him and we flourish and we, we thrive and we help others and we stretch out. And others that haven't accepted His blood ha- have just, they're part of the body, but they, they're sort of stagnant, oh. they're dead, they're dying. You know, they're not living their lives. Mm. They're not accepting that blood and, and, and taking it as strength for their lives. So that's where it all births from, the into your heart. And it's, it's quite a close one to us because it's, it's very personal. Yeah. And we did the music video on it as well. And so, yeah, I hope it blesses you. <laughs> yeah, we, we love it. And we know the listeners who have never heard it before, they're going to hear it in just a, a few minutes' time. Uh, Jessica, people listening to your music, they've heard one song already, the I'll Never Leave You and Into Your Heart will be coming up in a short while. And they might say, this is the kind of thing we want. This is the kind of music we want playing in our homes. Uh, this yes. is the kind of thing I want to listen to and, and praise along with and sing aloud to while I'm in the car uh, heading off to work. Uh, how can they get your music? How can they find out more about you? Where on the socials are you give us some of your info okay so um you can go to my website it's uh www.jessica de la torre so it's jessica then this uh surname is dot com. um you can find all the music on my website and on all digital platforms uh spotify itunes all of that and you can find me on facebook twitter instagram um, you can go on the website and just read up about me. We also got the Into Your Heart Foundation that we're trying to build. Yes. So we can visit um, orphanages and homes and the underprivileged areas because I sing for free and do a little concert for the kids and take some um, supplies and things that they may need. Amazing. So you can just read up on all of that. It would be great. <laughs> 
And if you visit if you visit our Facebook page as well, facebook.com forward slash Carpster Console, you'll get some more info as well on Jessica. And if you uh, yes. log on right and now. YouTube. We forgot about YouTube. Yes, yes, don't forget YouTube. So speaking of YouTube. And subscribe. Yes, so we've got all of the stuff playing. We've got her website open on our Facebook Live, facebook.com forward slash Carpster Console. You can see it there. You'll even see the music video Into Your Heart playing there. And uh, some info as well as uh, Jessica's website plays out live on our Facebook page. You can see there with a plant a seed and how you can sow into to the uh, into your heart foundation it's all there go and check it out uh, jessica dalatore uh, jessica before we go just um, the future for you and uh, now that this album is recorded and now that you've got this ministry tool in your hand you've got your heart around your ministry uh, i suppose now it's about getting word out and getting touring yeah i've, I've sung in the states in december um, uh, 2018 i sang at uh, two places as well as um Two Churches Eternity in California mm. and uh, an old age home that we did just before Christmas, which was lovely. And uh, we, I've done quite a few churches here in South Africa, and we're obviously doing uh, Portugal, as I mentioned mm. earlier. And it's just, from now, we, we're just open to getting invites, so if people want to invite me, they can go onto the website and email. Um, we're doing outreaches, so it's just, it's growing. <laughs> At a rapid rate. <laughs> we're very, very excited for you. I'm sure if you, uh, if I were to ask you uh, a few years ago, would you imagine that you would have an album fully recorded uh, out in Nashville, Tennessee, in two languages, 10 tracks, radio interviews, yes. radio <laughs> airplay, and opportunities to travel the world to sing your music? If I told you this a few years ago, I think you would have taken it, right? Yeah, I would have been like, yes. <laughs> but you know, we failed to mention that I actually recorded another album for kids. Yes, it's I did. Fun educational kids album. We did it in English and Portuguese, so they they sort of go hand in hand. If we're going into a church and the, the kids' church wants to um, listen to some of the fun kiddie songs that I also wrote, so it's been quite a project, a lot of work, but it's it's really rewarding mm. when you when you hear the response of the people, especially once they've they've felt that 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 God's spoken to their heart. They they come up to me crying. Oh wow. <laughs> So it's it's really rewarding. It's a lot of work. It's hard work, mm. but it's, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of money, and it's a lot of heart. It's a lot of emotions, dedication, yes. and sacrifice. But uh, you won't be able to have a project like this and the success and the huge call that God has on your life. You won't be able to achieve any of those things without hard without work him. and a lot of yeah. faith and trust. <laughs> and with his strength. <laughs> Amen to that. Jessica De La Torre, great connecting with you right here on 729 AM's Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. Great that we've been able to play your music. Here is the title track of that album that we've been talking about. It's called Into Your Heart. JessicaDelatore.com is where you'll get more and follow her on the socials. And when you hear this, I'm thinking you're also going to make your weekend music purchases. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if you've got a, a bit of an itch for some new music to add to your iTunes playlist, you can't go wrong with this. Jessica, Thanks for your time this morning. Be blessed. May your ministry go from strength to strength and may people's lives truly be changed and may they fix their eyes firmly on Jesus because of the music that you've created. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a blessing.